Hey, what's up, guys? Dustin Sander from Esports Max here. I'm here with Triforce, uh, Armada, and Mewtwo King of Empire Arcadia just after the uh, Smash Finals at MLG Anaheim 2014. How are you guys doing today? Feeling pretty good. We did, we did good. We did solid um, here. You know, we got second and third for singles, and the guys took on um, teams. They um, won first. So overall, for our first MLG for the year, we did pretty good. Yeah. How about you guys? You doing all right? No, it's okay. I wish the ending would have been better, but shit happens, I guess. If he didn't beat me twice, I would have won. I'm sure of it. All right, all right. Strong words, guys. Strong words. So walk me through your matches. Like, how do you guys feel about your matches uh, in top eight there? Uh, I played against Mewtwo King twice and Mango twice as well. And against Mewtwo King, it felt like the first time he played sort of not so good, so I could win that set pretty, uh, pretty yeah, convincingly. Second time it was very back and forth, uh, but I pulled it out. And against Mango, it felt like he had an upper hand most of the time, and I couldn't adapt in time, unfortunately. Sure. Mewtwo King? Uh, yeah, I, my Fox was for some reason very off the first set, and then it, it was still off the next game, so I just went chic because. It's like my fox, my fox tech is just not on right now. Uh, I, I managed to beat PP. I even got a three stock on first game. Made him switch to Marth, and I didn't get the chance to play Mango. He avoided me just like Evo, but he might not avoid me next Evo, and I'm taking him down. All right, all right. So you'll take him down next time then. I took him down last two times. Okay. All right. Well, three times. Yep. The rivalry stands then. All right. So. Uh, it's eternal. The rivalry yeah. is eternal. It'll, we're gonna be old men, and the rivalry is gonna still be going on. I'm gonna have a, a beard. We're both gonna have gray hair, and we're still gonna be p playing at this with a, with a rivalry. Better make sure you go to the same retirement home then. <laughs> All right, so uh, what's next for Empire Arcadia? What are you guys up to? Well, right now we're in our, um, we're making some changes for our team. We're, we're trying to get into the other games and competitive gaming as a whole. Um, Armada and Mutual King have done a fantastic job for the team. These guys are turning it around for us in terms of getting us into, like, you know, on the screen. The first, this is the first time ever that our team's logo has been put on the MLG screen, and that's thanks to Armada and Mutual King. These guys have been doing a fantastic job. Um, Jason's been on the team for, like, forever and whatnot, and he's the one who actually suggested to bring Armada in. And when it comes to, like, teamwork, these guys are, like, the best. Their chemistry is, you know, is just impeccable. We won doubles too. That was a side event with like 40, 50 entrants. We won that also. So, so, you know, those guys, so far, since they've teamed up, they have not lost doubles. As a team, I don't think there's anyone that even comes close to beating them. There are a lot of um, uh, upcomers that are very good that give them a run for their money, but, like, you're looking at two of the best Smash Brothers players on the planet, pound for pound, convincingly, too, because they, they don't just play melee. They also play um, uh, Brawl, and well, Jason plays Brawl, and then Armada plays on um, Project M, and then... I play Project M. I always lose to this guy, but I always beat everybody else every time. Yeah, but you, like, played, brawl, you played Brawl before. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, well, the way you word it is like, I don't play PM. I play every Smash. I play every Smash, and I will be top every Smash. Well, I'm top three at every Smash. Sword at 64, and I will be the best at Smash 4. Uh, you can quote me on that. I will be the best at Smash 4. You're quoted on it. <laughs> yeah, you're quoted now. Are you ready to beat Zero? Zero is uh, looking pretty strong in E3. I'm not ready to beat Zero, I'm ready to beat everyone. Everyone. Oh, okay. Well, strong words, strong words, Mewtwo King. There's a lot of rival there's a lot of rivalries out there and I'm I'm so happy that guys like MLG has put together a platform for the community to come out of and create teams. I'm so happy to see the other like esports teams, not just us, but like EG, um, Cloud9, Curse, Liquid. You know, I'm hoping Optic even gets involved. I want all the esports teams to start picking up Smash Brothers because this is the best way to expand esports. Like, you see what's going on here? You hear this in the background? Like, this is this is something MLG took 10 years to put together, and it's only going to get better. And we want to make sure that our team is around for when these t when these t type of things happen because we've been a huge supporter for MLG since they started, and we're talking about back 2003, 2004. So, you know, Smash had a little bit of issues like on day one. Like, what, what do you guys think about that? With the open bracket taking forever to get started, um, and the other fighting games also had some issues. Like, what do you guys think about that? Do you think that the MLG did it the best they could, or uh, do you feel like they could have done things better? 
nothing is perfect. Nobody is perfect. Um, there's there's a lot of problems, and I've been to a lot of tournaments. I've been to tournaments overseas. I've been to tournaments here. I've been to tournaments in the Caribbean, community tournaments, um, esports tournaments, all of them. No one is perfect. Everyone has um, blunders. The best you can do is find out what the problem is, resolve them, and get back to your schedule. And MLG is um, good at doing that. These guys, it's, this is MLG, what, 66? It's in their 60s. Yeah. Like, you know, That's pretty great. at the end of the day, the grand finals happened. We're here on Sunday, the tournament's over, everyone had a great time. So and to me, this was a great MLG experience and we're gonna see some more um, great MLG experience in the future. Okay. What about you guys? How was the player experience for you guys? Uh, it was pretty good. I really liked the fact that it had like so many of the sets on the main stage, best of five against you know all the top players. That was very exciting for my part. Okay. I, th I thought Sunday was extremely good because there was a setup in the back that we can warm up on and there was so much hype and it was just so fun. I wish there was one of these every week. Right on. Um, I mean, you were here back when MLG had Smash before. 2006. 2006. My first year playing the game was 2005. We both started February 14th, 2005. He started one day before me in tournaments, coincidentally. But then um, he didn't come to the USA to 2009. But yeah, I've been competing MLG since 2006. I got top eight at all of them, but I never won one. But that was a long time ago. I'm much better now. All right, cool. So uh, any like, closing words or shout outs you'd like to give before we uh, let you guys go? Definitely, I would like to give thanks to all of our supporters, partners, and sponsors, Playing for Keeps, Wave Dash, um, Digigear Pro, and uh, definitely one of our, our, our major, major supporter, um, Guinness World Records, and the team, and everybody back home in New York and all around the world that supports Empire, and all the guys out there, Sanford, Jerron, Craymore, and Dominion, the rest of you guys, I don't want to you know, say too many names because I don't want to make it like I forget everybody. And everybody who support um, Empire Acadia, we will be here. This what we were real close in winning our ninth MLG. Yes, our ninth MLG. But we'll take the second for now, and there's still about three more to go for the um, season. So we'll be back, and you'll see the Mewtwo King and Amada. They're going to take an MLG before this year closes. That's guaranteed. All right. Do you guys have any personal shout outs you like to give? Yeah, shout out to Team EMP, shout out to Mewtwo King, of course, being an awesome teammate. And then a big shout out to the entire Smash community. Uh, shout out to Play for Keeps, my new sponsor. Uh, I don't have much info yet, I will in the future. Oh, one more thing? Yeah. And definitely, definitely the most important person, the most important people to thank. Thank you, Nintendo, for making this happen for all of us. Yep. All right. Well, thank you guys for the interview. Um, this has been Dustin Snyder for eSportsMax.com. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter at eSportsMax uh, for all the rest of our MLG Anaheim 2014 coverage.